Make your kitchen ready for every summer gathering this Memorial Day with LG and Lowe's. Our exclusive InstaView appliance suite includes ranges with air fry, refrigerators with slow melting craft ice, and an exclusive dishwasher you can only find at Lowe's. Plus, you'll get up to 10% back via a MasterCard prepaid card when you bundle eligible LG products via rebate. Shop Memorial Day savings at Lowe's. Offer valid 3 3 through 5 18 on select LG items only. See Lowe's.com slash rebates for details and timing. Take the next step toward the career you want, be it business, cybersecurity, healthcare, or more. UMGC can help you get there. No application fee when you apply by August 31st. Visit umgc.edu. Certified to operate by Chev. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at bjgeeknation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. I don't know if you guys remember this, but we're going to go into a little bit of the Wayback Machine back Uh-oh. to the 1980s when A&W, uh, not only a great root beer, but they also have restaurants, and uh, they were trying to compete with the McDonald's quarter pounder. So what they did is they, you know, you know what? We're going to come out with the third pounder. And so, uh, I don't remember. Back when I was a kid, I had no idea that A and W was anything other than root beer. Really? Yeah, I don't Neither think I. Was, I don't think there was an A and W anywhere near us. Like the only fast food we really knew of was McDonald's and Burger King. Nice. Yeah, I'm with you, Steve. That was about all I remember from the Northeast. There was one in the mall in Albuquerque, but then we never ate there. So I, I still to this day have not eaten at A and W. See, and the only reason I knew there were A and W restaurants is because the Ever Mall had one. Yeah. Like, growing up, I'd always see it. And I think I only went there once or twice, because if you're going to the Ever Mall, you're going to want to get a smoothie or something else. Yeah. So these guys thought, hey, here's how we'll compete with McDonald's. We'll do a third pounder instead of a quarter pounder. Uh, the problem was is that people were not good at math. And so they thought the third pounder was actually smaller than a quarter pounder. Yeah, fractions uh, are hard. Dude, yeah. I would probably would have been guilty of that at younger. Well, adult now, too. Yeah. <laughs> it makes sense because four is larger than three. So you think, oh, wait, a one-third pounder, one-fourth pounder. The one-fourth pounder has got to be bigger because four is bigger than three. I do understand how your brain might think that. And it went down as one of the biggest marketing flops ever. I mean, it, it just did not work. And they were, and you can imagine scratching their head. Come on, it's just math, people. Are you kidding mm-hmm. me? Mm-hmm. You know, some marketers is- like, oh, I'm losing my job over this. Yeah, especially because the fast food bigger is always better, right? Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. so they're probably thinking this is going to be what's going to get us to be on the same level as Burger King and McDonald's, not realizing that well, you're appealing to idiots like us. Yeah, they sure was. Uh, we got we got the commercial uh, they put out back then, which did it's not, not the help. Commercial us. back then, no. This- oh, it's oh, it's a new one. Oh, yeah, we got they- oh oh, that's right. They're doing a brand new one, and um, uh, so yeah, so that's that's a good point, Steve. A and W is bringing back this burger, and they're giving it a new name, which is probably a good idea. And we do have the new commercial, like Steve said. A and W launched an advertising campaign to promote a new third pound burger. It was bigger and beefier than the competition's puny quarter pound option. So how come nobody bought it? Turns out, Americans are just terrible at math. Like, really bad. Everybody thought that one third was smaller than one quarter because, you know, four is bigger than three. Introducing the A&W Three Nights Burger. It's bigger. Genius. (laughs) <laughs> hey, dummies! Uh, the Three Nights Burger is pretty fun. I want to try one now. Yeah, yeah that's pretty funny. And, if, oh, and there's a picture of it. It is substantially bigger than a quarter yeah. pounder. I, I want to try it too. That's you just, know, what a great idea. I'm just amazed that it's like yeah, it's if you reduce the fraction, it's still a third. Yeah. So, but just just people cannot get that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I I think it's brilliant, and 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 I'm laughing at it because 
look, I might have been one of those idiots that thought that the, the, the third was smaller than a fourth. I mean, it's very possible I was that guy. So we were watching the commercial, and, and for those of you, I'm sure you can find it online. I, so what, what's up with the mascot? Is, do they have a mouse as a mascot, A&W? Because I'm looking at a the, bear. Is I, that a bear? I looked it up because I was curious, too. It's the Great Root Bear, <laughs> oh also oh. named Rudy. 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 They, oh, yeah, I didn't know what it was either, Steve. I, I had a hard time making out what that mascot was supposed to be. Yeah. I thought it was a mouse. I'm like, what, did they just kidnap the, the, the Chuck E. Cheese mouse and make him now their employee? Yeah, See, yeah, I guess happens. I always knew that because we had A&Ws around here, or at least A&W slash KFCs. So, I mean, it's just, I, I've known about the bear for such a long time. A root time. bear. I, I think it's clever. Yeah. Rudy the root bear. All right. That's pretty, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, there he goes. But see, now Yogi, you know, I think Yogi be pissed like, and, uh, you know, and of course the uh, prevent forest fires there. What's his oh, name? Oh, Smokey. Smokey, there you go. See, I bet, I bet the, uh, I bet Rudy could uh, take Smokey. No. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, Smokey's oh, yeah. got a lot of pent up anger. That's yeah. True. No, Smokey can kick anybody's ass, but I do feel like Rudy would beat up Yogi. Uh, oh, yeah. Really? Yogi's bottom tier on this one. Yes. What about Boo Boo? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, Yogi and Boo Boo may be. Tag yeah. team handicap. Yeah, match. that's exactly how it works. There's an you A&W know. in White Center. I might go this weekend. <laughs> no, A&W is really good. I, their burgers are awesome. When I, I figured out that they had burgers, I tried it. And I was like, wow. Like even someone said, you guys have been sleeping on A&W. And mm-hmm. I'm like, you're absolutely right. <laughs> so is, is White Center the closest uh, that we have, Danny, to Seattle? Um, uh, of course, I'm wondering about the East Side. Does the East Side ever have anything? Uh, maybe Renton. I bet, you know, Renton might have something. I'm not. Oh, yeah. Apparently there is one in Renton. Yep, so it says there the, one, the one in Renton has a uh, root beer on tap and gives you a frosted mug. Best oh, root beer what? ever. On tap? Nice. Wonder if it's uh, anywhere in the landing area. That would be very convenient. <sighs> you a lot of shopping vibe that it, uh, maybe it's close to the landing, but I don't think it's in the landing area. But I could be wrong. Yeah. yeah, well, you know what? As long as it's close, that's close enough for me. As long as it's close, <laughs> it's close enough for you. <laughs> I'm willing to go the extra mile, Steve, for a good burger. That's a fact. Well, there we go. So it's the three ninths burger, a brand new A and W burger to replace the flop of an advertising campaign back in the '80s. Very, very happy about that. <laughs> I wish them well with their success. <laughs> there we go. And I would like one. We got a dude that was arrested for robbery, and he was caught. Because he was unknowingly live streaming while committing the crime. You know, I, I don't feel so bad doing the one third, one fourth confusion. Steve will tell you all about this guy. He's got the mix report for you at 620 on The Rock. BJ and Mix mornings on The Rock at 99.9 KISW. Make your kitchen ready for every summer gathering this Memorial Day with LG and Lowe's. Our exclusive InstaView appliance suite includes ranges with air fry, refrigerators with slow melting craft ice, and an exclusive dishwasher you can only find at Lowe's. Plus, you'll get up to 10% back via a MasterCard prepaid card when you bundle eligible LG products via rebate. Shop Memorial Day savings at Lowe's. Offer valid 3 3 through 5 18 on select LG items only. See Lowe's.com slash rebates for details and timing. Take the next step toward the career you want, be it business, cybersecurity, healthcare, or more. UMGC can help you get there. No application fee when you apply by August 31st. Visit umgc.edu. Certified to operate by Chev. $20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. Everything is better electrified like the guitar, toothbrushes, or cars. And Hyundai has the widest range of electrified vehicles on the market, including the first-ever Tucson and Santa Fe plug-in hybrid EVs. You can use electric when you want it or gas when you need it. It's your journey. Evolve it beyond the pump in the 2022 Tucson or Santa Fe plug-in hybrid EVs. Visit your nearest Hyundai dealer or learn more at HyundaiUSA.com. Call 562-314-4603 for complete details. 99.9 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Well informed on the issues of the day? Not this guy. Live from the KISW News Center in downtown Seattle, this is the Migs Report. 
Well, thanks, you guys, and thanks to Beacon Plumbing, Heating, and Mechanical for giving us the Mage Report. And today, it's a day to yell at people because it's International Caps Lock Day. Nice! Ah. Just keep everything Uh. on Caps Lock when you're writing Uh. people. All right. Uh, that caps lock day is for me, buddy. I'm it, doing it. Also for you. These nuts. It's National <laughs> Nut Day. Yeah. Wow. But most importantly, today is a day. Well, I'm actually going to celebrate it tomorrow, but today is Eat a Pretzel Day. Oh. Oh, it's too bad it wasn't today for you, buddy. Yeah. Well, it is today, but I'm celebrating it tomorrow. Oh, I see what you mean. All right, now I've got you. All right, I got lost there for a minute. Oh, so why not today? What's uh, what's tomorrow? Uh, or you, are you could because you, you could do two days if you really. I could do to. two days, but your boy Steve Miggs is going to be at Climate Pledge Arena tomorrow night. Oh, what? there we go. I see. So if I'm going to be at the game, I need to eat a pretzel while I'm at the game. No, nice. wait, wait, wait. Well, how are you getting there tomorrow night? I thought you didn't. What? Well, it's not. Con- no, I'm kidding. It is confirmed. <laughs> I got. Uh, I'm going to cover it as media, man. Wow! Yeah, that was super awesome of them. They're, they're, so I, I mean, I'm not bringing anyone. It's just me, but I don't care. No, I'll, I'll I make mean, new friends while I'm sitting in the press box, dude. You're going to be in the press box. How awesome is that? Super awesome. Although I'm not the type that usually goes into the press box. You know, I mean, with hockey, I'm going to do it because I, I love hockey. I'll cover hockey, but you know, I've never done it for like baseball or football. So. I got to now like get clothes that aren't t-shirts and stuff. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I yeah, made that mistake. Yeah, you don't you know, want to show up rocking just all cracking gear. <laughs> Although I think it would be cool, but I understand why they frown upon that. Uh, what if you were rocking the other team's gear? That would be better, <laughs> wouldn't it? I was thinking I was just going to rock my goalie gear and say I'm here just in case. <laughs> yeah, just, ah, good call. <laughs> I am the backup to the backup to the backup. Right. Yeah. Although yeah. I found out my friend Wayno's the got the he's one of the guys that got the e-bug spot. Oh, nice. So nice. Super pumped for him. So I'm 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 going to be Wayno's backup. Oh, I good like call. It. I like it. I'm just going to hang out by him wearing the full gear. I'm like, I'm dressed before you, man. They're going to put me in before you. <laughs> you know what? I actually think you should just show up as Cuddles. and Shut you know, up! Just root, just, oh, my gosh. Can you imagine? If I walked into the press box dressed as Cuddles. Yeah, that would not be good. No. <laughs> no, no I'll probably never get invited back again. I want to no. go back again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, well, they, yeah, because you know me. I have been uninvited to certain press boxes and, and granted, <laughs> well-deserved on my part, so... Uh, you don't want that to happen to you. I for sure did not expect to get the... Because I, I know there's a lot of people coming from across the country that are yeah. you know, sports media people. So it was a real nice thing of the Kraken that they 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 realize that, hey, there's local people here that give a crap about the team and then cover the team. So that's awesome. But, you know, like I know like, like Linda Cohn, Kevin Weeks, like all the ESPN people, they're oh, going to be yeah. there. It's wow. going to be it's gonna be quite the event. So I'm looking forward to it. I'll be sure to share some pictures up on all of our social media pages because uh, I know some people are bummed because, you know, it's hard to watch. Watch the game if uh, you don't have uh, the Canadian Broadcast Channel or ESPN Plus or Hulu. It's not on any network, so that's frustrating. Yeah. But I'm, I'm I'm most excited about the opening uh, shenanigans and ceremony and all that kind of stuff. So I'll be sure to get some video. All right, of that. you'll be able to tell us about that in case we miss it. But I'm gonna I'm, I, I, I gotta I gotta set my DVR. I gotta go make sure I, if I can. And if not, then it's Hulu for the win. Yep, Hulu for the win. Uh, but if you do have the Canadian broadcast channel CBC or CBUT uh, channel six nineteen on um, uh, oh. Comcast or Xfinity, oh, then I got it. If you've got that, you'll be able to watch it on Hockey Night in Canada, which is awesome oh. because Hockey Night in Canada is a tradition. It's a, uh, it's a popular. It's almost like Monday Night Football for hockey fans in Canada. That's cool. Yeah, I'm liking this news. So great coverage. That'll be a lot of fun. But let's talk about this idiot that uh, is based in the Cairo area. There was a reporter who was doing a, a news report and also was live streaming while doing the broadcast. Well, this criminal did not realize that and stole the phone from the reporter and ran off. The best part about all this is wow. the live stream was still going. So about like, it sounds like about 7 million people or a few million people ended up watching this. But while it was going on live, there was like nearly twenty or 30,000 people <laughs> watching this idiot <laughs> run off with the phone that's still live streaming. That is so awesome. It became the most viewed video on their Facebook page. So, I mean, it all worked out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Of course. That's fantastic. Thanks to technology, of course, the cops were able to track this person down, and they were arrested. And he admitted to the crime and told police that he sold the phone to a traitor. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Well, that sucks. But at least they caught the guy. Here's something not to do in your neighborhood. If someone gets into an argument with you, you you don't want to take a a pumpkin and throw it at another person's head. Oh, you don't want to do that? Are you sure? No. This happened in Pittsburgh, where it seems like... Something was going on where this woman was yelling at the neighbor's mom, uh, who was there picking up her grandkids. And so the the woman's yelling, arguing. Then the husband pops in. He's like, you know, I got I to gotta argue with my wife. But the best way to do that is to grab this pumpkin and throw it at the grandma's head. 
Oh, that's always uh, not a thing you should do. They're probably trying to wonder out why were they arguing? Yeah, good question. Parking, of course. They were oh. mad that the woman parked in front of their house. How oh, dare you? Wh- what is going on with that idea? I mean, people park in front of people's houses because, you know, the other people have get-togethers. There's limited parking. Uh, why don't people get that? I don't know, man. But at some point, then he threw a pumpkin at the windshield, threw it at another one. The woman got hit with the pumpkin, ended up with a concussion. Luckily, she's going to be okay. Then that guy got into a fight with another neighbor. The whole thing is just a mess. Yeah, it surely is. And here's the interesting part. He's uh, facing charges for aggravated assault and what they've determined throwing pumpkins at people. Uh, it's called propulsion of missiles. Oh, wow. Projectile situation. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So like I mentioned, dude, super pumped. Going to be able to check out the Kraken tomorrow. Big home opener today. We're going to be talking to John Forsland at 747 to get a little preview of this upcoming game. And also just recap what the, the road trip was like in, in the perspective of uh, John because he's the play-by-play guy, the voice of the Kraken. But also, of, yes. uh, you're, you're a new press box buddy. Yeah, I think he's going to probably keep his distance from me. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's going to be on the air. Well, they still Oh, no, actually, he won't be on the yeah. air. Yeah. Yeah, he won't be. And they oh. do they do eat in there. Like, I know for sure there were broadcasters that, again, I might have bothered too much oh. and was thrown out of the press box. But they do go and have their, yeah, you, you're going to be hanging with everybody broadcaster. I, I wonder if I could pull some strings and have him be my, like, like neighbor, like I sit next to. Oh, yeah, why not? And then I mean, he'll pull know. some strings and have me removed from the press box. <laughs> and don't forget your our buddy Fitz. Fitz yes. is going to be there. I'd imagine yeah. he's going to be on the radio, though. But again, they get to go in that area. Yes. In the press box area where they all eat. I mean, I know that they all... That's where I'm thinking. You just sort of post up and it just sort of wait there. Don't be creepy. But just sort of wait in the food area where they all get to eat. And then eventually they'll all walk in and then you can be the creepy friend. So if you find him holding like an ice cream cone, I shouldn't say, hey, Fitz, want a lick? <laughs> yeah, you would. Yeah, you don't want to... Don't, yeah, don't do that. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. I'm glad we talked about this ahead of time because I'm yeah, very... Yeah, I really... Yeah. I, I, I want to have... I, I want to set you up for success. It's a lot of pressure now, BJ. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, that's true. But for those wondering what to eat at Climate Pledge that aren't in the press box eating whatever food they're providing there, uh, we have an update and a, a list of some of the oh, stuff that's available. Uh, here we go. All right. So I mentioned that I did see a little Woody stand when I went down there last weekend. So the, you could get a little Woody's burger. That's nice. pretty awesome. Also, there's shakes. Uh, they have uh, Ethan Stowell's uh, Ballard Pizza Company is going to be there. Oh, that's nice. Very excited about this, BJ. Saturday night. Of course, we're DTF. Din Tai Fung. Yeah. What? Din Tai Fung is inside the arena? Yep, yep. Wow. Then you got Sound Pizza. Piroski, Piroski, they're available there. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Uh, just Poke. Yeah. So if you want oh, some just, Poke. Oh, yep. Good for Just Poke. That's a, that's, that's a good get for them. Love them. Elliot's Oyster House. Oh, uh, I, the Metropolitan oh, Grill is going to have a spot in there. I don't well, know if, if you want a good steak, sure, that makes sense. A bunch of other stuff, like Impossible Burgers, available. They also have like wow. their mar- they're going to have a bunch of different marketplaces, including things that are very similar to like the Amazon Go Store. It's got Amazon's Just Walk Out technology, so you basically your palm is red, and then you they tell you what your future holds, and then also you can grab whatever food you <laughs> nice. want. Oh, that's, that's crazy. I mean, it is Halloween. So, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> that way you can walk in, just take something, and not have to like stand around and. I have to pay for it because it just gets pulled out of your account. That's nice. Yes. Uh, L.A. came back strong, beating L- uh, Atlanta in the National League Championship Series and baseball playoffs. 11-2 to two yesterday, BJ. Atlanta now has a 3-2 series lead, so hopefully they can wrap things up. Uh, and then uh, Boston tonight, will they tie the series? Taking on Houston, the Astros have a 3-2 series lead. It is an interesting thing because, of course, L.A. very, very happy that they won, but they're still in the same position as the Red Sox, even though it feels like the Red Sox are, like, down. You know, and granted, you know, obviously, when you have a three games to two league, you're in better shape than the other team. But all you got to do is just win one game, and then you get to come back. Thursday night football last night, the Browns. Without yeah. Baker Mayfield, he has a shoulder issue, so they brought back uh, uh, Case Keenum. I think it's like his sixth team that he's been now playing with, and he helped okay. them win the game, had a good drive, and ended up winning the game over the Denver, Bron- Denver oh. Broncos, 17-14. to 14. Oh, Sorry, sorry Caesar. Caesar. <laughs> yeah, we didn't hear from yeah. Caesar last night. No, we didn't. No, I didn't. Yeah. Yeah, that's surprising. <laughs> yeah. Well, he got half. I mean, his Dodgers won, but his Broncos lost. Uh, so that is a I think he cares more about the Broncos, to be quite honest with you. 
Somebody once said, wait a second, uh, the Kraken game's not going to be on route? No, it's a national game. And ESPN, even though it's a national game, we're not putting it on any of their national channels. It's on their ESPN Plus service. So if you have that streaming service or Hulu. But if you have uh, Xfinity, again, just go to Channel 619. You'll be able to watch on Hockey Night in Canada. And this uh, this isn't an indictment against the Kraken, but I am pissed at ESPN. I mean, this is, you 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 know, if you're going to pick up an, if you're going to pick up a sport and say you're going to carry the games, you need to put them on TV, too. None there's got to be a channel you could fit yeah. it on. You I know can, you got college football, but there's got to be a channel you could put it on. And if you have college football, maybe then you shouldn't be running hockey games, or at least let the local people do it if you only have to put it on the plus. I, I'm really pissed about this, and I, I, you know, I don't know who to blame about it, so I'm going to go with ESPN. You need to be better, because it sucks that a lot of people aren't going to be able to watch this game. No, you know, I don't that way. Someone just texted and said, I have to vent. ESPN sucks that they're not playing the cracking game tomorrow. They decided to put it on their streaming service, ESPN+. Plus. Yeah. Because I mean, you, you have to pay for that. Yes. Yes, you a know, monthly uh, subscription. Yeah, and so to me, it's like I already pay for you on cable. That's what irritates me. It's like ESPN, you already double dipped me on cable, and now you want to come get me over here? Okay. You know, and it's really not ESPN. I blame ABC because they're the parent company. So, uh, you know, and hey, who was that? Disney owns ABC. Disney owns Mickey Mouse. Oh, no, because I I have Disney Plus. Why don't I? I mean, I pay for Disney Plus, too. For cra- well, well, you can watch the Mighty Ducks on there and just pretend that it's the Kraken. Quack, quack, yeah, quack. that's fair. That is. There's a local beer league team that are now calling themselves the Quacken, and they're they're they're, they're rocking uh, <laughs> Kraken colors, but instead of a Kraken, it's a duck. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Which I thought was like, that's the greatest beer league team name ever. That's amazing. That's funny. It's so awesome. Oh, someone brought up a good point. The great one's broadcasting on TNT. Wayne Gretzky's part of the broadcast team for uh, the TNT hockey show that they do, along with uh, Paul Biznasty Bissonette. I wonder if the great one's going to be there tomorrow. Oh. Yo, me and Gretzky. Selfie time, Steve. Fireball shots. Ooh. Yes. Oh. You said you said TNT, Steve? TNT's a part of uh, the, the broadcast thing as well. They're not showing the game on there, but they do show hockey games on there now. They're, they're part of the whole deal. Oh, I and didn't realize they have, that. they have their oh. own uh, TNT hockey show. Like, kind of like oh. on the end. Yeah, so they like a bunch of like experts talk about the game and stuff. Oh, like so that. they'll have a they'll have a pregame show even though they're not doing the game. That I don't know. That's why the oh. person I'll have to check and see. But I'll have but, to look at my uh, schedule. But if they are, that means Wayne Gretzky, who's a part of that broadcast team, might be there too. Oh, a post up and again, where do you think Gretzky's going to be? They're all going to go to that one food area that they all get to eat at. Post up with your ice cream. I'm willing to drop sixteen bucks to share a truly with the great one. <laughs> yes, <laughs> nice. <laughs> if he's in, <laughs> it's not seven fifty for a water. I'm okay either way. Yeah, doesn't worth need it. to be alcohol. It's worth it, man. All right, as far as weather, 56 degrees, it's going to rain today. That's the Migs Report. Go Kraken, and that's what's up. Yesterday, Steve, he did get this one wrong. Sharing a name with a small household appliance, what is a space which is entirely devoid of matter called in science terms? Toast? No. <laughs> Micro? No. Garbage disposal? No. No. We're looking for vacuum, sir. You want a shot at beating Steve? All right, here's how you do it. 206... 421 Rock. We're going to play Beat Migs. We'll do that at 650 on The Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. How do I know if bankruptcy is going to provide me with relief? What are the steps for my situation? Uh, there's so much information out there about bankruptcy with the internet and uh, what people have heard from friends and, and other people that they've talked to about their financial issues or, or bankruptcy. Uh, there's there's also a lot of bad information out there or, or urban legends about bankruptcy. In order to determine whether bankruptcy makes sense for you, you need to talk to an attorney that's experienced in bankruptcy. So in order to determine whether bankruptcy makes sense for you, you should talk to an experienced bankruptcy attorney and right my job is not to convince you to file bankruptcy my job is to help you to to make that decision and have all the facts uh, so that you can make an informed decision about whether bankruptcy makes sense for you what benefits it's going to have for you and what the downside of filing bankruptcy is thanks travis if you have more questions about bankruptcy you can reach out to travis anytime at choose the right chapter.com Make your kitchen ready for every summer gathering this Memorial Day with LG and Lowe's. Our exclusive InstaView appliance suite includes ranges with air fry, refrigerators with slow melting craft ice, and an exclusive dishwasher you can only find at Lowe's. Plus, you'll get up to 10% back via a MasterCard prepaid card when you bundle eligible LG products via rebate. Shop Memorial Day savings at Lowe's. Offer valid 3 3 through 518 on select LG items only. See Lowe's.com slash rebates for details and timing. 
Take the next step toward the career you want, be it business, cybersecurity, healthcare, or more. UMGC can help you get there. No application fee when you apply by August 31st. Visit umgc.edu. Certified to operate by Chev. $20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com.